Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk through actually probably one of the most important things to do when you are building a business, but also if you're building a client site, really understanding how to strategize around the content and building a site that is gonna be useful for search, gonna be useful for people's needs, all of that. So a few weeks ago, I believe it was a question I got on YouTube. I get questions from all different places. I got a question. How do you know if enough people are searching for a client's services? I absolutely love this question. I really think this is something so important for any business. And if you're just about to launch, this is so critical because it could even just be wording or phrases. One person might say it this way, but the way people search it is a whole nother way. So you really want to consider this. Now, when it comes down to it, you could start a business with a product or you could start a business Business with a need so you could say hey this is like the cup that everyone needs you could think that but let's just say you go to Google and nobody actually searches for it and people do search for cups but that's a great indicator that you might think it's a business but it's not necessarily a business so you could start with a product but you could also start with a need and the way you find needs is there's a bunch of tools out there that actually collect data and let you know what people are actually searching so the main one is Google Keyword Planner now the way to get the most accurate data from that is you got to be spending a few dollars on Google ads or you find someone who runs it and have them do a report for you. That's what we do. We do keyword research for our clients. We use a few tools, but the main one we use is Google Keyword Planner. The reason we love it is because it's Google and they own 99% of the data out there in the US on what searches are happening. So we want to make sure if we're creating a web page, it's based on what people are actually searching. You really got to consider that Google's primary goal is not just pulling up a page of a potential service that fills a need, but aligning it to a T. So for example, if your homepage talks about four services and I only search for one, that's a close connection. But if that page talks about one service and I search for one service, you've just made a perfect connection. The closer the connection, the better. I really, really believe that in everything you do. Type it in, do the search, look for it. You're gonna see that the search results that come up are gonna be the closest to what you search if the content is available. And that's where you come in now for a client's services or a client's website. You look at what people are searching. So a good example could be like, let's say Squarespace designer. I think people search Squarespace designer, but in reality, what people search is Squarespace custom code. For example, this is not the best example, but let's just say that if they search Squarespace custom coder, I want my page to reflect that to the best of its ability with its main headline, with its keywords, with its URL, everything as much as possible that I could align those keywords to the searches that are actually happening. So how do you know if people are actually searching? Well, you use a tool like Google Keyword Planner. You could also use SEM Rush. I think Arefs does stuff like this as well. I don't really use them for that. Best one I have found is Google Keyword Planner. They do bundle some of the data. Some people don't like it because of that, but I think it still gives you the best general guide on what people are actually searching. So how do you know if enough people are searching for something? you go use Google Keyword Planner, you see what they're searching, and then you build your entire site based on those searches. Now, a client may think of other ways of doing it or do it their own way, but now you have a better sense of what you're even targeting and what you're aiming after. And if you could start to educate the client on this type of thinking, really come down to it. Let's say I really want to sell this cup. I think this cup needs to be sold and people are searching for it, but they don't type in cup. They type in minimalist dishware, for example. Well, if that's what they're typing in, I really want to focus my targeting on those types of keywords because that is actually what the need is that I'm seeing online. Can you build need and demand and all of that? Yes, but that's a whole different conversation. Most conversations that people are asking when they're asking this question, how do you know if enough people are searching for a client's services or products? This is what they're asking. The last thing I want to bring up here is you want to understand how Google works and what you're actually trying to show up with. So if you have a business, a local business versus product versus an e-com store versus a consultancy and a service you offer, things like that. All of those focus on different types of searches and where those searches come from. I have another video on my YouTube channel that talks about understanding Google and I walk through the different ways that searches happen. It's 
It's not the most viewed video, but it's probably one of the most important if you're thinking about SEO because you could optimize your site, but you actually should be optimizing your Google business profile or you want to optimize your site, but you also need to set up a Google merchant account and connect your site to it. There's a lot to consider depending on the business you're in so that you do show up for those searches. Once you find them, you know that you have them and then you could go from there. Now, if this content is useful for you, I definitely recommend checking out our SEO starter kit. Whether you're just building one site or you're building tens of sites, what I recommend is our SEO starter kit. It's a super affordable tool I wish I had when I got started with Squarespace and with building websites. It's a great tool to get started, to build sites and get up and running with an SEO first strategy so that your client knows or you know that you're focusing on the right way. So many people have reached out to me and said, I was just blogging randomly or I was just doing SEO randomly and now I have a clear destination. You never hop on a plane that says we're just going to go anywhere. You hop on a plane that has a clear destination. So this will help you find a clear destination even though no one controls Google or you can't guarantee SEO results, if you know where you're headed or how to go after that target, you're going to be much more focused and spend your dollars and time better than try random things that random people say. The SEO starter kit is a great tool. Check it out below. If you have any questions, drop them below as well. If you got value from the video, hit the like button. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.